Now we're going to take a look at scientific notation. In other words, a method of taking extremely large numbers and compressing them into a really small format. I'm going to show you how to put numbers into scientific notation and then how to take them back out of scientific notation again. First, let's take a look at numbers that are larger than 1. For example, 1,200. What you have to do is first identify the significant figures in the number. The first one, then the decimal point, and then any other sig figs that come after that go into the coefficient of your scientific notation. Then you count the number of places after the first sig fig to get back to the ones place. After the first sig fig, there's three places. 1.2 times 10 to the third. In this number, there's two sig figs, 3.3 .3 times 10 to the, after the first sig fig, there are six places to get back to the ones, 10 to the eighth. This is 3,000 with a decimal point. They're all sig figs, 3.000 times 10 to the, three places after the first sig fig, third. 3,000 with a line over the zero in the tens place means three sig figs. 3.00 times 10 to the, after the first sig fig, there are three places, 10 to the third. 3,000 without a decimal point, there's only one sig fig, three times 10 to the, there's three places after the first sig fig, 10 to the third. So even though all these numbers are basically 3 times 10 to the third, the more sig figs you have, the more sig figs you're going to have in the coefficient. For this one, it's a great big number. It's got exactly five significant figures going up to that line over the zero. 2.1900, those are all the significant figures, times 10 to the... After the first significant figure, there's three, six, nine places to get back to the ones place times 10 to the ninth. For this number here, two significant figures, 9.7 times 10 to the, after the first sig fig, there's one plus three plus three is seven places back to the ones place. And that's how you can convert numbers bigger than one into scientific notation. Now, here's how to convert numbers bigger than one out of scientific notation back to what's called decimal form. 1.2 times 10 to the 3 means that there's a 1 followed by a 2. And there's three places after the 1. 1, 2, 3. There's nothing there. There are place holding zeros. 5.90, that's 5, 9, 0. And there's five places after the first sig fig. One, two, three, four, five. Place holding zeros go in there, and this zero gets a line over it to show that it is a significant figure. For 8.700 for, for 8 times 10 to the ninth, there's 8, 7, 0, 0. There are nine places after the 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This gets a line over it to show that that's where the sig figs run out. Then you put zeros in for the rest of the placeholders. 3.00 times 10 to the second. 3, 0, 0. Those are the three sig figs. Times 10 to the second means there's two places after the three. So that's 1, 2. Two places, these are both significant figures. Put a decimal point at the end to show that they're all significant figures. If your measurement is smaller than one, what you're going to do is count the number of places back to the ones place, which means you'll have a negative exponent. 0 0.003, three times 10 to the negative. How many places back to the ones place? Three. Add that. 3.0 times 10 to the negative. How many places back to the ones place? Four. 510, 5.10 times 10 to the negative. How many places back to the ones place? 
that looks like five places. For this number here, 2.1 times 10 to the negative, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For this number here, 1 followed by the three zeros, times 10 to the negative, third. For this number here, 2.30 times 10 to the negative, fourth. And that's how you take numbers smaller than 1 and put them into scientific notation. Here's how to get a number smaller than 1 out of scientific notation. 1, 2, 10 to the negative third. There you go. 5, 9, 0. 10 to the negative fifth. Notice that this exponent here tells us how many zeros come before our significant figures, including the zero before the decimal point. Here's another way of looking at it. 10 to the negative ninth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then throw in your sig figs, 8, 7, 0, 0. I'll show you how to do exactly the same thing with this last one. 10 to the negative second. There's our two zeros, 3, 0, 0. And that's how you take numbers and put them into scientific notation and how to take them back out of scientific notation once again.